So we don't usually have to worry about major impacts of hurricanes affecting us in Maine, but many of us have loved ones or friends or family who are bracing for a second hurricane right now. Meteorologist Aaron Myler here to expand on what those people should expect over the next couple of days. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Lee. And yeah, there's a lot going down in Florida right now. And historically, storm surge has been the leading cause of fatalities associated with hurricanes. Visions of homes submerged to their rooftops and residents navigating flooded streets and canoes comes to mind. But how does such an overwhelming amount of water reach land? It is not primarily due to heavy rainfall. Storm surge is primarily caused by strong winds that push water onto the shore. Those sustained wind speeds, which may exceed 150 miles an hour, will push ocean water onto land, significantly elevating the normal sea level. Current forecasts indicate that these winds could drive up to 12 feet of water ashore in the coming days. Areas such as Tampa, Sarasota, and Fort Myers are expected to be the most heavily affected, while the remainder of Florida's western and southern coastline will also experience some of the most significant storm surge. Hurricane Milton is intensifying in the Gulf of Mexico, currently a Cat 4 hurricane, and this is going to complicate recovery efforts from Hurricane Helene, which occurred just about two weeks ago. Unfortunately, the west coast of Florida is also in the projected path of Milton. The hurricane is expected to make landfall tomorrow as a Category 3 storm or 4 storm, compounding the damage already present. Now, here's a little good news, though. Some wind shear in the tropics should help to weaken this hurricane from its current Category 4 or eventually 5 status before it makes landfall. In the studio, meteorologist Aaron Myler, News Center, Maine.